Now, black women continue to destroy their children, destroy the black family. They always having babies by sissy thug men. This woman right here has seven kids and she was torturing them and abusing them. Let's listen to the news story and I'll come back with my commentary. This evening, horrifying new details after two teens escaped from their mother who was accused of handcuffing them and holding them captive in the laundry room. And we want to warn you, the following story does have some very graphic and upsetting images. The 16-year-old boy and girl twins went knocking on neighbors' doors in their Cypress neighborhood, begging for help. Finally, a woman answered the door and called police. The teens told investigators they hadn't lived here for long. By the time police got to the house, however, the mother and her boyfriend were gone, along with five other kids inside the house. Investigators say they later arrested them in Baton Rouge after an Amber Alert went out. But when they were pulled over, the couple only had one child with them. They told investigators they dropped off the other kids at a relative's house. The woman who helped the kids is now speaking out. Anayeli Ruiz joins us live. Anayeli, what is she telling you? Well, hey guys, the woman told us that the teens knocked for nearly 30 minutes before they got to her. They started here in this neighborhood and moved to her subdivision before they could call for help. Again, we want to warn you, the following images are very disturbing. It's early Tuesday morning, two teens in Cyprus going door to door looking for help. These teens seen on camera had just escaped after allegedly being held captive in the laundry room of their home. Through neighbor surveillance video, you can see the teens walking the neighborhood looking for someone to help them. The kids are shivering. No shoes and one is shirtless. But after trying all of the homes down their street, no luck teens move on to a different subdivision. You can see one girl leaning on the wall waiting for help. The bones on the boy's back visible. The teens pleaded with that neighbor, even showing the handcuffs. The neighbor quickly opened the door, not knowing what would come next. She asked us to hide her identity. They told me that their mom kept them locked in the laundry room naked zip tied from the ankles and handcuffed from the wrist and she said the injuries on the kids were very visible we would be in there naked handcuffed hand tied they said we would pee and poop on ourselves and they said when we needed to bathe the mom would let them use the dirty mop water to bathe they didn't get a bath they got dirty mop water and that's how they were bathing this mother said she called police and gave them food and blankets while they waited for help, they shared more horror stories. She would only feed them a sandwich, and only if they were quiet the whole day. If they made any type of noise, they wouldn't be fed. This mother now hopes the teens are in a safe place, and those responsible are brought to justice for once and for all. How a mother can do this to her kids. And I feel like my tears are just out of frustration, anger, and just sadness. And again, many of the neighbors here said they called police. They really didn't know what was going on. Some of them weren't even home. And by the way, those kids are now under CPS custody. They were taken to an area hospital to get checked out. Now, the constables tell us the mother and her boyfriend will be transferred tomorrow from Louisiana back here to Harris County. Reporting live, Anayeli Ruiz, KHOU 11 News. Now, we're not finished yet. There's more to the story. Let's listen to how she was convicted previously of cruelty and torturing her kids. Let's listen to this. The couple was arrested in Louisiana. The five boys are with relatives. According to court documents, Duncan has been convicted of injury to a child in Baton Rouge. According to court documents, Duncan has been convicted of cruelty to a child in Louisiana. Court documents from 2012 in Baton Rouge State, she submerged a five-year-old child in hot water, causing serious burns. Police say they found a 20-month-old infant wrapped in clothing with his hands bound. The document states Duncan and her then-boyfriend made the victim do push-ups for an hour and forced the child to sleep on a closet floor. Boards were placed in front of the closet door to keep the victim from escaping and stealing food from the kitchen. Duncan was on probation from 2013 to 2020. Now, she was doing so many horrendous things, pouring bleach down their throats, pouring bleach on their genitals. Just trying to destroy him and eliminate her own kids, her own boys. I don't blame 
uh, black men of a higher quality, of a higher standard, going to other cultures of women. The women in our community, there's no hope for them. They're done. It's over with. First, we had feminism. They joined feminism against their men. Then they joined the welfare system against their men. Then we have child support system. Now we have thought culture where they have no standards, no morals, no dignity, no self-respect. They glorify the most disgusting things in thought music. Being a hoe is cute. Sleeping with multiple men is cute. Um, being a horrible mother is cute. And we're seeing the results of this thought culture that we live in. This story is horrendous. It's sad. It's sickening. And they always got a sissy thug. <laughs> Black women always got a sissy thug, a bum in the house. Always got a loser. And always got a bunch of babies by losers. It's crazy. Um, thank God these kids are now safe. Um, away from their uh, disgusting, evil, wicked mother. And I'm going to continue to post stories just to show you and prove my point of how disgusting uh, the women in our community are. They, they, bait with, they mate with beta males, raise beta males, and they try to destroy the very thing they raise. It's really sad. They don't want strong men. They don't want masculine men. They don't want strong father figures around. They don't want to build a family. They don't want to be wives. They don't want to build a legacy. They don't want anything but ding-a-ling. I'm your boy, Zillionaire, the truth speaker. I'm out of here.